Today we're going to be building a PC. All right, let's get started. Let's make sure you see what's going on. Right, so I went with the Asus Tough Gaming X570 board, as you can see. And this is my first build ever. I've never built a computer before from scratch. I did a lot of research, AKA I watched all the videos on YouTube I could possibly watch. Special shout out to Patrick, you the man. All right, so this is the motherboard. Let's put the CPU in, show you that. I got everything on the floor here. All right, so I went with the Ryzen 3rd Gen, Ryzen 7 3700X CPU. I did open everything beforehand though. This is the fan that we're not gonna use. There she is. That was nerve wracking. At first I wasn't even sure where the, where the arrow was. All right, CPU's in. Now let's put the CPU cooler. Now, let's see, can you see? Can you see? Yes. I did cheat beforehand. I had to remove this came with a bracket here and here. I removed it. I installed the AM bracket, AM4, AM3 bracket. This way the fan will just go right in. Here she is. I'm gonna remove this label. I've actually heard that people leave that label on there and, they're, and they're, they complain about temperatures. Take this out for now. Need to be able to screw it on. All right, let's apply a thermal paste. I'm a believer in the nice pea sized drop in the middle. So, bolts do stop eventually. Let's just give it a nice check. Paranoid about these screws. <laughs> Motherboard's not gonna break, right? Maybe. I think that's good. Alrighty, now this fan comes with two connectors. There's a roundy roundy one, smooth finish one is the RGB, the lights, and the squarey squarey one is the power. That's gonna go, you can see that, that's gonna go right here for the CPU connector and then the RGB right here. All right, so there you can see the two connections. It's getting somewhere, it's looking like something. And don't laugh at my wire management. It's not the best in the world, but it's my first build. Come on, give me a break. For the RAM sticks, I went with the Vengeance LPX DDR4 3200. Two, two 16 gigabyte sticks. So that'll give me a whopping 32 for all my gaming needs. Also, you might be asking yourself, Badger, why do you need a computer? If you're a retro gaming slash modern-ish gaming channel, well, I've been running a free video editing software this whole time. And I haven't really, I've been wanting to use Adobe Premiere or After Effects and all that, but my computer can't run it. My computer can't really run it. And I feel like I can, I can give you guys better quality if I up the game on my computer. So for the RAM sticks, we're gonna put it in slots two and four. Why? Because the internet says so. 
So, start the memory. We're gonna go with two and four, like I said. It only goes in one way. So, so on these, one side opens, the other side doesn't. Push until it clicks. So we're done with the motherboard for now. Let's bring over the tower, install the IO shield, and take it from there. All right, so here she is, the Cooler Master TD500. Why am I doing that? Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. All right, we're moving quite, we're, we're moving right along, guys. You want to install the IO shield now. All right, so I forgot something on the motherboard. Let's put the SSD in now. I went with the one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo. Now, what you wanna do, goes in this slot right here. For this motherboard, it comes with a spacer right here, this little screw. I don't know if you can tell what that is, but that lifts up the SSD because generally if you were to put this without that spacer, it'd fall down. I've seen people put it that way tilting downward but why not have it level if you can have it level so I put this little screw right here that comes with the motherboard right there so I'm gonna gently push it in let me let me hog it let me hog it for a second let me push it down and this will hold it for you Done. SSD storage installed. Now, it's time for us to put our motherboard into the tower. We installed our IO shield here. So we want to make sure that all the connections sit flush in the IO shield before we fully install it. And this tower actually comes with the standoffs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is good. I don't have to do anything, I just put it in. Sometimes I've seen it, I've seen people have to install their own standoffs just to line up with their motherboard, but we don't have to do that in this case. So we want to open up the back side of our case. Uh, there's two screws on the top on this one. And our power supply goes right here. The screws come with the power supply, so no worries there. Just line up the holes. I gotta be honest, this whole mess of wires is very, very intimidating. Kind of how to force it in. All right. Don't let all these wires fool you. The angle's a little weird since I want to be able to, you know, you guys. I want to be able for you guys to see what I'm doing. Now, to run the cables, and I'll be right back. All right, now, so for the wires coming out of the top of the case here, we're gonna route it towards the back. This HD audio, which is for like the auxiliary jack and the mic, I believe, we're gonna put right here, and it, it depends on your motherboard. 
but it's in the manual, so I read the instructions. It's right here, we'll put that in. Voila. Now, for, now, for this case, it has 3.0 USB. Put that right here. Okay, so to summarize, we hooked up the HD audio. We hooked up our front connectors, the power LED, the power switch, the reset LED, and we hooked up our 24 pin from the power supply. We hooked up our USB 3.0 connector from the front harness. We hooked up the RGB for our fans. And we hooked up the power for the CPU. This Ryzen 7 takes two connectors. You split one in half. That's what the four is right here. And the other one right next to it. Again, you gotta reference your motherboard instruction manual and cross-reference that with the case and power supply. Now for the fun stuff. So, my original plan was to get a 3080. That didn't pan out for reasons we all know. The launch of the 3080 was a complete mess. So, I'm gonna settle for the 2060 Super with some nice 1440p gaming. So I can just buy the 3080 and slap it in. So, to put this, I'm gonna have to remove some shields there. It'll fit like that. I'm gonna lay the computer down. There you go, she's in. I was wrong, it was actually the second two slots that you had to remove, but I removed all three and then realized what it was. So it's in. Now we gotta give it some power. So, we wanna take our PCI cable. Run that through. So recap. Motherboard, CPU, CPU cooler, RAM sticks, power supply, cables routed, for the most part, I ran into some RGB issues that I'm gonna have to search and find out later on how that works. This is my connector right here for RGB. Doesn't seem to be working, not working, but it's not lining up with the connector, so I think there might be an issue there. But other than that, um, got my SATA power here for goodies and we can cable manage now start this thing up all right guys so we tucked our wires and i was able to figure out the rgb fans that was just a matter of linking them all together or daisy chaining them all together into a module that came with the kit and plugging it into a SATA. Now, let's play some games and see how this puppy does. Fresh, 
Hero Squad's rolling out with our beacon. See you on the other side, Delta. Good luck! Bird, where am I going? Panic, get your beacon to the Tomb of the Unknown. Pilot, take us to whatever that is. Heads up, we got carriers! Delta, help my squad clear the area. You got it, Carmine. And your intel says one of the silos is still intact, right? Yeah, as far as they can tell. Just get Dave to a functional control room. He'll handle the launch sequence. Dave, light. <coughs> Remember, Big Loke's barrel site this island. The hatch. Hey, get back! Oh, shit! What the hell? Trinity's people are armed. I heard they brought in reinforcements. I'll stay out of their way. I want to avoid what happened with the last cell we took down. They must know we were at the other site. So much for a night off. Where did Dominguez go? He can't be far. He must be in the courtyard somewhere. You've certainly made an impression with the locals. I like you here. Good people. Jonah, he's at the gate. I see. Sure, I'm not following. Someone set off a trap at the first sight. We think it was Croft. Wait. What's wrong? I want confirmation, Commander. No more guessing. I'll make sure we get visual confirmation. Jonah, they might have noticed me. I'll try the back alley. <laughs> Okay, this should work. All right. Watch will be vigilant here. Hmm. <laughs> 